Charterman, Charterman, Rhyme, Charterman, 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 Rhyme, Reading comics, Twitter, Hell of Six, Hell of Wackiness, Take a Bad Hits, Take a Bad Hits, Charterman, Subscribe, Machine for the Mains. Take Brawl's butt, just jam it right into the culo. Oh, missed. Alright. Hey, what's up you guys? Charmus Prime here doing another Amazing Spider-Man toy review for you guys on the Amazing Spider-Man Movie Edition Spider-Man. This is a Walmart exclusive figure. Gotta give a big thanks to Adam Warlock for leading me on to purchasing this figure through Walmart.com. It was only 16 bucks and they had free shipping and I also picked up the Amazing Spider-Man movie. I also picked up some K-Cups, you know, because I need those. I drink coffees. But I really actually like this figure. I've seen a lot of people pose this figure online and a lot of people gripe about it. And when I saw the pictures, I thought it was a piece of crap myself. And I really just bought this figure to review it. I was like, man, I gotta review this guy. Reviewed all the other figures, gotta review this one too. But I actually do like it. Uh, he comes with some pretty cool accessories. He has his skateboard, he has his backpack, and he has this base right here, this build-a-base thing, which, um, you know, I'm not a big fan of or anything. You may or may not know, this is pretty much a, a retooled version of the first six-inch movie Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man figure that we saw. So he does have interchangeable heads, he has a backpack, and he has a skateboard. Um, this guy came with the base and webbing, so you'd not get webbing with this version right here. So yeah, let's get into the accessories. Here's a close look at the skateboard. Um, you know, you have black on the top, which I actually really like that they got the texturing down on this. And it's a very realistic skateboard, so you can even see the notches right here and everything. And um, then the wheels, you can see, you know see all the the skateboard bits and everything I think these were called the tracks I used to skate way back in the day sucked at it but yeah and it rolls right here and these pop off very easily I actually had a couple of cases where I lost them and they actually painted silver right here in the middle I think it's crazy that they snuck that little detail in there so yeah there's silver right there silver there and silver there. They have all these cool scratch marks at the bottom, which I think is very cool. So it doesn't have any pegs sticking up out of it. It would have been nice to have some pegs so that, you know, the peg holes could just go right in here and you could have them stand on the skateboard. And I think the skateboard is a little out of scale, to be honest with you. If you don't like posing your Spider Man with his skateboard, he will kind of work with the TMNT cartoon figure. So you can have Michelangelo on a skateboard right there and it'll look too bad. The skateboard rolls, but Again, these parts do come out. Here's a look at the backpack, which doesn't look too bad. And it's got a, you know, pliable plastic going on here, so you can remove it. Mend is sticking the arms backwards when you're removing coats and stuff like that. Bend, and then there it goes. So it's not really complex or anything. It's just, you know, my little tip. But I think they got all the straps right, even on the interior right here, or the inside part. Not really the interior of the backpack, but you can even see stitching right here. Stitching on the backpack. So you have all this little detail right here. I think that's very cool. I think they did a good job on this. And, you know, they put a lot of work on making a decent backpack. And, you know, it's not a bad backpack at all. It's pretty nice. You know, it reminds me of high school days and stuff. So, yeah, and it has this elastic strap right here. So that's how you attach the skateboard. You just slip it through like that, all blurry-like, and then, bam, it clears up on you when you need it to. And sometimes it folds out where, there you go, you get it all nice and clean like that. So there's the backpack and the skateboard together. Not too shabby. I dig this. And the stupid Build-A-Base. So the two features of this figure that I was looking forward to the most from San Diego Comic-Con, because they did have this figure out on display at San Diego Comic-Con, and there's the picture on the back of the box where he does have the uh, very metallic blue right here as opposed to this. You know, it was supposed to have a different paint job than the original version. This is the same exact paint job as far as the body goes. It's the same exact body. That's disappointing that they didn't give us that. The head sculpt on this guy is okay. Now, it's one of those things where in person, I guess maybe if I if I were to go really far back with the camera, like it it doesn't really bother me too much. But as soon as you get really close with the camera, you're like, whoa, look at that skinny neck and look at that Big head, man. Wow. So that's how he's so smart. Look at that big head, man. Woo. I mean, it's, it is a little funny looking. And it may be a little bit more accurate than the Marvel Select version. Here's the Marvel Select right here. I, I think I like how the Marvel Select one came out a little bit better. It looks a little more normal than 
freakish. You know, this is this is a little off, I think. But I don't know. It could be more accurate. I, I got to rewatch the movie again. I haven't rewatched it since I got it on Blu-ray. I'm about to watch it right now, so I got to finish this review up. You know what I mean? But I think the flesh tone on the Marvel Select is a lot more plain. This is actually a very much more realistic kind of flesh tone. I do like it more. He does kind of have a weird mouth kind of face facial expression going on right there as opposed to this one I guess but uh, I think it was Slings of Web his version had like really weird eyes the eyes on mine didn't come out too strange or anything I think they actually did okay and I thought it was really strange how they painted his hair it's like a metallic brown the highlights are a metallic brown so it's a dark brown with a metallic brown I have never seen metallic brown on a figure before I mean are you seeing that I, I, I don't know if it's picking up in the camera as much as you could see it in person you look at the hair and you're just like what metallic I don't know I think that's weird now I showed this figure to my brother and he thought it looked really cool my brother is an accomplished artist and everything so I respect his opinion. He thought that the metallic look was a lot better because people's hair really does reflect light in some cases, I guess. So I don't know. It, whatever you like. Another thing that made me think I was going to really hate this figure is this elbow right here. This came out really bent in the packaging. I didn't ruin the figure. It was already like this. Actually, let's jump in the Wayback Machine and check it out. So here it is in the packaging. And yes, this elbow is already very messed up. And I want to show the back so you can see what I'm talking about with this paint application that they did not give us on the suit. So, yeah. Alright, now it's time to go back. Back to the future! Hey, you made it. Welcome back. So, yeah, that paint job would have been a lot cooler over here. So, But this isn't bad. You know, it's what we had before. So it's it's nothing new. It's nothing different. I mean, just take another look at, you know, the, the way this looks. It's, it's the same body. Now, we do get a plus in the head. Now, it sounds kind of weird saying that, but, you know, because, you know, some head is always good news. But the head sculpt's the same, right? It's the same exact head sculpt. You have the nice gold eyes over here. And there's that light black wash that actually comes through. It's really hard to see, but it, it and it's very subtle, but it's there. Yeah, you can see it now. But one thing I really like about this is that due to this, you know, head swap thing, and this is kind of weird having this, you know, this the way this peg is instead of a ball thingy. But the head can actually look up way more than the first release of the six inch movie Spider-Man. So I like that a lot. You can actually tell it up pretty far this one you couldn't do that that was a gripe of mine but you see what I mean that just having spider-man being able to look all the way up is just a huge plus for me I like that a lot and you can kind of not not half it but barely have it on there and it looks way cool so I dig that I really do and when you have the Andrew Garfield head on there because this is you know so much hair going on back down here um, that it, it, you can't get him to look up nearly as far so that's as far up as he can go right there with the Andrew Garfield head and let's put this guy back on he can move side to side just fine with both heads his arms move outward they move forward he has a bicep swivel he has double jointed elbows his wrists move side to side up and down same thing on this side unlike the original version that's another thing that they changed that I do like is that on the original version this has kind of like a wall crawling hand thing and this is a fist and then this is a thwipping pose on the first one right here and on this newer one he has a different kind of wall crawling positioning going on would have been really cool is if you could just pull these hands out and interchange them that would have been tight I would have really liked that so I don't know I'll give it a shot later on with some hot water and see how that goes uh, another gripe of mine on this figure again is that the web shooter is on the side of the wrist instead of on the back you know what I mean so that when he's whipping it doesn't you know it doesn't look realistic but on this figure it doesn't matter because he doesn't have a whipping action at all so anyway his his uh, diaphragm joint moves side to side up and down his head falls off all on its own they move forward like that and sideways so you don't have to do the rotating thing which is very cool and he does have upper thigh articulation right here and he has double jointed knees no calf rotation which I miss I still wish we had that calf rotation on this thing but his ankles move up and down and they have that gorgeous ankle pivot that I do love and we continue to see the badass silver paint on the feet which I just like because it's you know pretty meticulous paintwork right there you know that stuff can't be easy to get on there on a mass produced figure so I do have to appreciate that and we got it on the other one too it's not like it's brand new or anything so here's the movie edition Spider-Man compared to Marvel Select Andrew Garfield here he is next to the McFarlane Spidey 
And here he is next to the big time letdown Spider-Man. So he's not a short Spider-Man figure. He's got a pretty decent height on him. So total, what, about six and a half inches, something like that, or just a little over six inches. So, yeah, that's my review, guys. I hope you dig it. I actually ended up really liking this figure. I'm glad that I bought it. I totally recommend it. Walmart.com, 16 bucks. I think it was like 15.88 or something plus tax. So, totally recommend it. And uh, for those of you who really don't like the figure, I understand. I, I feel you. I mean, the head looks kind of bizarre and everything. But like I said, the further away you get from it, the better it looks. So, yeah, that's not really a good thing. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. And today's ACBA pick of the day goes to Bug Nice 10 with this picture of Optimus Prime, Masterpiece Optimus Prime and Spike. And I just got to give him mad props for actually posing that tiny ass little Spike figure. Not only that, I mean, Optimus looks really badass with this angle and everything. He just looks gigantic. So, yeah. If you have not done so, go to the ACBA like page and the ACBA group page. And don't forget to go to BKBN.net for the latest in reviews, news, and more. And celebrate your nerdum in a big way. Damn it.